During the later Han period, the signs of impending rebellion were everywhere. Corruption within the imperial court had thrown the land into chaos and caused the people to suffer greatly. In this time of uncertainty, the people found themselves yearning for change. Zhang Zhao, the leader of a religious sect known as the Way of Peace, fanned the flames of rebellion and formed an army. This uprising would later come to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The threat of the Yellow Turbans loomed like a dark cloud over the Han. Sensing their impending doom, the imperial court raised the call for troops across the land. Among those who answered, there was one man who lamented the chaos with a heavy heart. His name was Sun Jian, the man known as the Tiger of Jiangdong. Together with his family, he dedicated himself to driving back the tides of war, for he prayed that an era of peace could be born of this time of chaos. Was the dream of the tiger one that could remain only in the realm of fancy? The might of Sun Jian helped bring an end to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The fame and prestige earned by the tiger of Jiangdong managed to surprise even the imperial court. Meanwhile, the Han imperial court lost the last vestiges of its authority and influence. This led to an air of uncertainty, which in turn brought on more chaos. Then in Liang province, Bian Zhong and Han Sui rose up in a large-scale rebellion. Tasked with putting down the rebels was the feared warlord Dong Zhuo. However, he proceeded too cautiously out of concern for his own personal safety, thereby leading to heavy casualties of his men. Troubled by this turn of events, the imperial court ordered Sun Jian to go and assist Dong Zhuo. Accompanied by his brave yet brash young son Sun Se, Sun Jian headed for Liang to face the enemy. The arrival of a land where his family and friends could live in peace and harmony. Was the dream of the tiger destined to remain only in the realm of fancy? Due to the efforts of Sun Jian and Sun Tzu, peace was restored to Liang. And in an instant, word of the tiger of Jiangdong spread across the land like wildfire. However, no matter how brave Sun Jian was, the chaos continued with equal fervor and intensity. And so he was dispatched once again in order to quell another rebellion. This time, his opponent was O Xing, who had risen up at Changsha. As a reward, the imperial court promised to appoint Sun Jian the prefect of Changsha. So with the expectations of the imperial court, as well as his family weighing on him, Sun Jian took to the battlefield. In truth, he desired neither fame nor territory. He merely wished for a lasting peace for those who entrusted their lives to him. And with his ambitions sheathed for the time being, Sun Jian went to put an end to the rebellious O Xing. Wang Gai, am I really of any use at all to my father? What's gotten into you? Sometimes, I just don't understand why my father hides his true strength. But unlike my brother, I don't have the courage to say my piece. And so, here I am, just watching the two of them again. I must say, I do not understand the two of them either. Unlike you, they usually don't talk to me about how they feel. 
I think Twan is probably the only one that feels like he can ask for your opinion. I think you underestimate just how valuable you are, right? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Twan, it's nice to see you smile for a change. Well, it's thanks to you and Huang Gai. There's something not quite right with this battle. How so? The enemy numbers seem too small. Hopefully, it's nothing. Very well. We'll keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Lord, Huang Gai's muscles are so... <clears throat> what I mean is, I'd like to be like that. I hear the Ten Eunuchs have all the power in the capital. Yes, I hear they ordered this dispatch. It may not be long before the Han is ruined. My lord, is it true what they say about your drinking habits? That you are not to be trusted when drunk? Shh, you'll make him angry. Shh, you'll make him angry. If Sun Jian can suppress the rebellion, his fame will grow still greater. No one looks out for their children more than Lord Sun Jian. He is a paragon of virtue. Lord Sun Tzu is a shining example to us all. While he's around, we're all in safe hands. If we defeat Oxing, father will be famous. Come on, Chuan. Try and keep up. Right, brother. I hear Oh Xing started this rebellion. But he's a pirate. He'll be even more trouble than the yellow turbans. Well, our lord will know what to do. Don't you worry. Have you visited the weapons dealer, my lord? He may have something just right for you. If you are ready to fight, you should go and speak to our lord. Um... Did I do something wrong? No, not at all. It's nothing. Forget it. Hey, concentrate on the battle ahead. If I can't look at her, nor can you. Oh, look. It's our lady's lady-in-waiting. I can't take my eyes off her. Hey, concentrate on the battle ahead. If I can't look at her, nor can you. I wish I had a sister like that. seem to spend our lives fighting the rebels. I guess it's because our lord is so powerful.
Have you made the necessary preparations? Yes, Father. I'll do my best to assist you out there. Excellent. Now, let us begin the march. Come, youngster. Let's begin. <laughs> Just you wait, O King. You're all that stands between us and claiming Chang Sha. My children do not need to be the target of anything. I hope they don't stand out for much. I must retreat. This is not the end. It's no good. Fall back. Fall back. Is that all they've got? Come then, push forward! There's something odd about this. I smell a rat. Our allies are surrounded. Come, youngster! Send off a messenger. He probably intends to call for backup. I'm not sure we can handle any greater numbers. Look at the messenger is stopped. What are you showing off? I'm gonna have to keep up then. Good job, brother. I'll do my best to keep up with you. Fine work. You have nipped a major crisis in the bud. I bring urgent news. Lord Sun Tzu is trapped within an enemy garrison and cannot escape. My brother, we have to rescue him. The garrison has been set on fire. Lord Sun Tzu is in grave danger. A true warrior. Carry our honor across the land. Wow! I never knew you could fight like that. Hang in there. Victory is almost. Report. The Allied forces are struggling. This battle is mine. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall seek. Thanks, Twan. You really saved me. I have assumed command of this area. Your strength gives me the courage to go on fighting.
my best to keep up with you. me out this time. Thanks. No, I didn't do anything. Fine work, my son. Thank you. <laughs> With the family together, there's nothing we can't overcome. Right, father? Yes. I am always so proud of your achievements. Pretty impressive, Twan. Hey! That was incredible! You're really showing me up out there, little brother. I'll have to try harder. Please, brother. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a tease! <laughs> Oxing oh, was defeated, thanks to the efforts of the tiger's son, Sun Chuan. Now the prefect of Changsha, Sun Jian, established a base south of the Changjiang. And there he watched his children grow amid the plentiful meadows of his territory. There was nothing more that his heart desired. However, the land itself was in need of him and his mighty claws. At the capital of Luoyang, a new rebellion was brewing. The warlord Dong Zhuo began abusing his power. And so Sun Jian was again requested to participate in the alliance against the evil tyrant. With a considerable push from his son Sun Tzu, Sun Jian agreed to join the cause. With the nobleman Yuan Shao as its leader, Sun Tzu marched together with the coalition against Dong Zhuo. Before them lay the formidable gates of Sushui and Hulao, whose defenders were about to hear the mighty tiger's roar. Lord Sun Tzu burns with a righteous passion. I just wish he could melt some of this snow. Your daughter grows stronger every day, my lord. So, you and your sister be careful out there. Hey, what about Twan? <laughs> Lu Bu and Hua Xiong are two of the fiercest warriors in the land. If we face them head on, we may not make it out alive. Lord Sun Twan is so kind and considerate. He even listens to us little people. Our supplies are running low. If we don't make a move soon, we'll all starve. I think I'll go lie down for a while. It's the only way to fight the hunger. We fear no one! We are the elite forces of Lord Sun Jian's army! It's so cold. I'm not used to this northern weather. The captain's a positive thinker. But we have to face reality. We fear no one, except Lu Bu and Hua Xiong, oh, and Dong Zhuo. I hear Lu Bu rides a blood-red horse the size of an elephant. Some even say it breathes fire. Come, men. We are the finest Lord Sun Jian's army has to offer. Come, men. We are the finest Lord Sun Jian's army has to offer. Show no fear. It's all very well for him. We'll be the ones who die first. I wouldn't be afraid if I were fighting ordinary men, but the enemy are monsters. Ah. 
I followed you here out of loyalty, my lord. But this is the front line, isn't it? I had no idea. It's time to pay Dong Zhuo back for all his cruelty. We must slay him, my lord. A splendid title you were granted, my lord. General who destroys insurgents. Most fitting. General who destroys... Speaking of Lord Sun Quan, I hear he's fallen in love with a beautiful woman. It's just a rumor, mind you. I think I'll go lie down for a while. Come. The vanguard of an army can't afford to be late. We must begin the march. Understood. Dong Zhuo's tyranny cannot be overlooked. We will hunt him down at Fu Lao Gate and teach him a lesson. The time has come to silence you! Step forward, you want to die. I stand, none shall breach this gate. Pitiful. Is there no one who has the courage to stand up to Hua Xiong? Transportation of supplies is Yuan Shu's responsibility. What could be keeping him? I believe he is unhappy at the success the Sun family has enjoyed. Put simply, he is jealous. Our men will lose heart if this standoff continues. I will speak to Yuan Shu myself. Galvanize us all, Father. One day I will do the same. My Lord. Why have you not sent the supplies? I trust you have a good reason. Well, of course I do. Some enemy forces have their eye on them. 
If I try to move them, we will be attacked. I must have to silence you. I must have to silence you. I will avenge our fallen allies.
Washion. He's back for more. The enemy general, Hua Xiong, has fallen before me. Huh. Now there's a man that'd be worth fighting. He is magnificent. So, that is the famous Guan Yu. Come on, father. Dong Zhuo is still further ahead. Only Hu Lao Gate remains. Come, my tigers. Show your claws. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I must have to silence you. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. Fear the tiger of Jiang Dong. Necessarily to lose. us all, Father. One day I will do the same. I am sick of weaklings. Come! Aha! You're mine! Wait! He's too much for one man! What were you thinking? Attacking on your own! We must combine our strength to defeat him! <laughs> now we stand a chance. Father, you must open the gates to Hu Lao. The gate will open. You will have to smash it down. Prepare the catapult. You think you can escape me? You stand before me? You have courage.
outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. You will learn to regret this moment. Fear the tiger of Jiang Dong. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. work. If successful, we will be victorious. I must come to silence you. The road to Dong Zhuo is clear. It is time to lay that animal to rest. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first man I shall see. Fear the tiger of Jiang Zhong. Halt. I shall stop your rampage. Assume a defensive formation. We must protect the main camp. This one is the I guess I need to pick up the pace. You will learn to regret this moment. I must come to silence you. I shall pull back for now. However, we shall meet in battle again. Feel the wrath of the tiger! That's my old man. Keep an eye out, though, because I'm not going to lose to you. I'm about to silence you! Get in my way, we'll die! End of story! I'm a I am here to face you personally. Prepare yourself. I will never forget this! I'm not through yet. Fear the tiger of Jiang Dong. Out of the coalition members, it was Sun Jian whose accomplishments towered highest. Having been driven off by the coalition, Dong Zhuo fled the capital and sought refuge in Chang'an. The coalition managed to retake Luoyang, which had long served as the center of Han influence. With their spirits high, Sun Jian and the others entered the capital, yet what awaited them was a shock to all present. The once glorious capital lay in ruin. Like a deadly inferno, Dong Zhuo had swept through the city during his escape burning all that he came across. Look at this. That animal. We never should have let him go. Hmm?
That's incredible! It's like the heavens themselves have chosen you. I mean, it has to be! What are the odds of this happening? Father? With the Imperial Seal in hand, Sun Jian left the capital and returned to Changsha. Meanwhile, Dong Zhuo was slain by his retainer Lu Bu at Chang'an. The Emperor, who he had kept under his thumb, subsequently fell into the hands of his remaining followers. With the Emperor in such a predicament, it was impossible to return the Imperial Seal to him at that time. And yet, those in the court, and their own greedy ambitions, could not be trusted with such a powerful object either. So Sun Jian decided to quietly hide the seal, so that it would not give rise to a new age of chaos. However, an object of such dazzling beauty and power could not remain hidden forever. Yuan Shao of Hebei learned of the seal's location and demanded that he hand it over. In response to Yuan Shao's threats, Sun Jian turned to another for assistance. It was none other than Yuan Shu, the one man who equaled Yuan Shao in fame and prestige. In exchange for Yuan Shu's protection, Sun Jian agreed to attack Yuan Shu's old nemesis, Liu Biao. Sun Jian took Sun Tzu with him, and together they set out for Liu Biao's territory of Xiangyang. Within his large, powerful hand, the Imperial Seal glistened in the sunlight, as if welcoming the impending battle. <laughs>